The following animation shows what could happen to the Burnside Bridge during a magnitude 8 plus Cascadia subduction zone earthquake. The results are based on input from bridge engineers and provide a reasonable depiction of what may happen. Although this type of event would devastate the entire region, impacts to adjacent structures and bridges are not shown in this animation. Constructed in 1926, the Burnside Bridge connects the east and west sides along one of the longest and busiest streets in Portland, Oregon. In the late 90s, Burnside Street was designated by Metro as a Priority 1 east-west emergency and seismic lifeline route across the Willamette River. Every day, over 40,000 vehicles, three bus lines, and 2,000 bicyclists and pedestrians cross the bridge. Union Pacific Railroad's main line crosses under the east end of the bridge. The bridge crosses over I-5 and ramps from I-84 and the Morrison Bridge, carrying 130,000 vehicles per day. The bridge opens about 300 times a year for river traffic. Portland Saturday Market attracts thousands of shoppers every weekend from April through December. TriMet's blue and red max lines run under the west end of the bridge, carrying over 78,000 riders every weekday. Thousands of bicyclists and pedestrians use Tom McCall Waterfront Park and the East Bank Esplanade under the bridge each day. Any day without warning, the Cascadia earthquake could strike and forcefully shake the region for several minutes. Under the west end of the bridge, concrete columns containing very little steel reinforcement will fail early. Weak, unstable soil causes permanent shifting and cracking of the shoreline pier. The pier sinks and rotates, causing the truss to collapse. Fixed spans become unseated, creating a barrier to river traffic. Weak soils and inadequate foundations cause settlement and damage to the river piers. The earthquake breaks the locks that connect the spans together, allowing the draw spans to lift and shake independently. The internal support holding the draw span fractures and the span drops into the pier. The draw span truss members break and fall into the river, blocking ship passage. Columns are torn apart and collapse sideways. Soils under the east approach liquefy after shaking, accelerating the collapse of support columns. The bridge collapses onto NATO Parkway, TriMet Max, and Tom McCall Waterfront Park. Bridge debris obstructs all modes of transportation, blocking over $1 billion in transportation infrastructure that relies on the bridge. The collapsed bridge blocks the main river channel creating an obstacle for river traffic that needs to deliver goods or people after the earthquake. The collapsed bridge also obstructs the East Bank Esplanade, I-5, I-84, and the Union Pacific Railroad mainline tracks. With other bridges out of service, Portland is now divided by the Willamette River, leaving tens of thousands stranded. Emergency responders are unable to cross the river to aid victims. The Burnside Lifeline route is broken. I understand that seeing images of the potential effects of a major earthquake can be overwhelming. The goal of our project is to prevent this type of destruction. We need to create a strong river crossing that can withstand a major earthquake. The Earthquake Ready Burnside Bridge Project is focused on one important piece of our region's disaster plan. And while we are working on creating a safe crossing, there are easy things you can do today to prepare your friends and family for any disaster. Experts say the best way to start is to develop an emergency plan. Having a plan will improve the likelihood your friends and family can communicate and reunite after a disaster. There are simple plans, tips, and other resources to be prepared for an emergency at ready.gov. Together, we can prepare our community to survive and recover from a major earthquake. Learn more at burnsidebridge.org.